So we want to get to Dr. Vin Gupta. He is an intensive care pulmonologist and fortunate for us, an NBC News medical contributor. Dr. Gupta, we know you're working. You're effectively on the front lines right now at the ICU there in Seattle. So you're well positioned to tell us what you're seeing. We are seeing some COVID numbers going up in places. What are your biggest concerns as we head into this next week of holiday time? Peter, Kristen, uh, good morning. Uh, great to see you both. You know, we're still very much in a, in a difficult spot here. I'd say the first half of cold and flu season, we've seen RSV cases peak at a really high level. Flu A in particular, for all your viewers out there, get that flu shot, still a lot of uh, benefits from it, um, and to the points made earlier. Flu A cases at the highest rates we've seen in over a decade at this point in the cold and flu season, and COVID we expect to peak middle of January. So really a, 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 a difficult time here as we enter the second half of the uh, cold flu season. Yeah. And I guess the question is, people are gathering as we speak, getting together this holiday season. What are the ways that people can gather, given all of the data that you're seeing, given what you're seeing on the front lines in a safe way? I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. Absolutely safe to gather and keep your plans. If you're sick, Think the way you would think and act the way you would act even before the pandemic. Try not to travel. If you're going to travel, uh, wear a mask for your protection, the uh, protection of others. Go to COVID.gov for free rapid tests if you, if you already have a supply. Great to test yourself, just like we've been talking about for the last three years, before you see somebody who's medically higher risk. And then lastly, I'll just say, us as a medical establishment, establishment need to be thinking, what if, not what now? So if you are caring for somebody who is medically higher risk, uh, standing prescriptions for things like Tamiflu and Paxlovid. So if you're sick, you don't have to na navigate a maze in real time. You're already going to have a medication at the pharmacy ready. So what if, not what now? And Dr. Gupta, to be clear right now, I'm guessing a lot of people are going to be enjoying the holiday, not looking for a place to get a vaccine or a booster right now. But flu shots and COVID boosters, it it's not too late to get those for families that are concerned about the way we're seeing things going, is it? That's absolutely correct. Takes about two weeks for full protection. Still very much in the thick of this as we enter the second half of cold and flu season. For all the parents out there, just very quickly, if your kiddo is not vaccinated, there are other threats out there like strep throat that we're hearing about. Mm -hmm. Turns out that if you get the flu shot, one of the co-benefits is that it helps your kid and your kid's immune system actually fight off other threats like strep throat. So it's better to get the flu shot, not only to protect against flu, but other threats. Oh, that's good to know. Good information, Dr. Gupta. We hope it's, uh, it's a decent to good holiday weekend yeah. for you and for all those who are on the front lines, our health workers. We thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Appreciate all that great information. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.